The automobile tire is infinite as far as the possibilities. The big thought is to figure out what you're going to do by visiting the city and taking a look around. Uh, you get ideas about you know what the people are like because you get a chance to see everyone in their general day-to-day -day motion. Uh, you go back home, you look at your internet to find more research about the city and the activities that have happened many years before and things that are happening now and what their future goals are about. And you sit and think. Uh, from there, um, you draw up drawings and maquettes that give an idea of structurally the possibilities of what work could look like. And then from there, my large task was to find material that didn't have the metal inside, which was not the easiest. From there, each piece is um, created with stainless steel armatures and then clad with the tires on top. You have different issues you have to deal with. You have to be concerned about the environment, um, the different winds and the changes of weather uh, that an engineer would assist in getting an understanding through the type of software programs that they have to be able to get an understanding of how structurally sound work has to become in order to be put outdoors. Some things, when you think in terms of an engineer, that might seem um, sturdy, it's sometimes the simpler areas to a piece where people may have more access to that will then tend to have more sort of a problem that they may have to reinforce compared to something that has like a very large arc that's more um, sort of built more like a building, like your archway here, something that has more support that then you can walk in and out of. The idea of artists and the processes that one through their lifetime of a career will always vary um, because you're looking for different ways to accentuate the work and each one will demand have a different demand as far as what needs to be done for them. So just because you go in and you start off with an idea doesn't necessarily mean that what it is you want is what you'll end up getting. I mean, it, there's always that kind of communicating between the materials that you work with and you will learn a certain vocabulary with the material. And I think that each time that the work is created that there's always that need to want to extend and push it a little bit more. I think about um, the material in a sense of, of a painter thinking they have their palette. On their palette, this color, the color is the energy that helps them to create the work. My palette has the textures, the treads, the movements of the materials that I use, and that's what helps to generate the energy to create the work. So it's only the limitation of your imagination. Changes. Do you uh, use, uh, of course, they're old tires. That is true. Uh, do you use white walls too? I use them all. Oh, okay. <laughs>